Save me. All right, love. All right. <laughs> That was better than I, one, I was wait, I was waiting for some, uh, some feedback there. Mm. Only sort of big new show of the uh, of the week. This is a Sky Atlantic drama created and written by uh, Lenny James, who also stars in the lead role as uh, Nelson Rowe, which probably wound Luke up every time they called him Nelly. Yes. Yeah, I can imagine yes. it did. And not an yeah. elephant in sight sort of schlubby guy, you know, of no fixed abode. He's sort of having an affair with about... Is it Was it a tower block he lived in, would you say, Gary? Yeah, London, oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. So, uh, a South London estate. A South London estate. He's having an affairs with a few women on the estate. He's sort of living <laughs> with another name I'm sure Luke had a problem with. Teens, played by Kerry Godleyman. Um, and uh, she's like an Avon lady or something, because he yeah. ends up doing, like, her, her Avon round and... You know, gets a bit of uh, extras from from one of the uh, clients. Uh, yes. He's sort of someone who holds court in his local pub. Uh, Stephen Graham is one of the regulars there, and uh, Susan Lynch is the um, the landlady. Uh, the the day after, sort of, we meet Nelly. He's sort of interrupted by the police and and dragged to the station, and it turns out there's a a missing teenager who turns out to be the daughter he hasn't seen since he was three. Her name is Jodie. We sort of met her in sort of like video messages towards the start of the episode. And we see her getting into a car with someone. Obviously, we know it's not Nelly because we've seen him sort of about getting drunk and things like that. The police decide, you know, they haven't got enough to hold him, but keep an eye on him still and see him then go to the house of uh, Jodie's mum, Claire, played by Saran Jones. They have a sort of confrontation. There's also sort of an insinuation that um, her husband, Barry, has got some sort of dodgy dealings and this might have something to do with Well, there was almost an implication, a a more stronger than that, because she kind of confronted him, didn't she, about this hasn't got anything to do with you and your Mm. doings. And he kind of went, no, I promise. I didn't hear the word doing. Well, uh, I can't remember the word. That's more Dr. Ranch's area. At the end, basically, Nelly gets kicked out of Teensy's flat by her son who says you know you've been having it off with all these women and he just sort of sets off to find Jodie wearing this lovely luminous orange hoodie that was the only thing he could find to wear and yeah. gets attacked from behind and the last shot we see is of uh, Jodie's number ringing his phone. Yeah, I would like didn't... to be able to answer the phone like Lenny James did in, in Save Me. Who dis? This. I, 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 can, I can top that. My, my mate who lived on the same road as me, his dad used to answer the phone, speak your bill. What? Speak your bill. Uh, no, in the sense of speak, it's your phone bill. So there was a comma in there somewhere. Yeah. Well, probably. Speak <laughs> your bill. Not a clever guy. Yeah. No, he, won, he, won, he wasn't a particularly clever guy. He once uh, hedge trimmed three of his fingers off. He, he struggled with the phone then at the best of times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he was glad when contactless came in. Probably, uh, yeah. Positive things about Save Me. I thought all the pub stuff was really well done. You don't see that enough on TV, sort of a gang of people in a pub who all know each other, having a laugh. It felt really vibrant, really alive. Almost reminiscent of something like Early Doors, just really believable yeah, yeah. and really good. Acting, uh, I don't know. I, is, it, is, it sacri- is, it, is it sacrilege to say that Lenny James, who wrote this, wasn't very good as Nelly? I don't know, but I've just said um, it. I felt like okay, he, fair enough. I felt like he wasn't very good. I didn't buy him, and the fact that he would, you know, be with Saran Jones for albeit a brief amount of time. I didn't really well, understand we saw, that either. Saw them in the the opening credits are like yeah. photos of them together in the pub with Saran Jones. So you sort of got the impression that she sort of sorted her life out a bit yeah. since she was. I mean, yeah, like, it might be that this is because it's where normally I see things and then I build it up for other people if I love it. And this this happened the other way where people were telling me who had already seen it. Oh, you'll love this. This is the next big thing and. You'll be talking about this, and maybe that clouded my judgment a little bit. But I didn't really get into this at any point. I, I, did... I mean, this was establishing the characters oh, and the world and absolutely. things like that. 
Duran Jones was barely in it. Stephen Graham was barely Absolutely. in it. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, but I agree with you to an extent. I think there's an authenticity to the dialogue and the, the sort of the world of the pub. I thought Lenny J. I, I think Lenny James was better than you may think he was. He, he obviously wrote this character for himself. He, he's believable delivering the dialogue. What I would say is that I think he possibly could have done with the co-writer to sort of giving him a bit more sort of discipline in some of the. Maybe mm. some of the exposition scenes and things like that. I mean, the the police in- investigation scene was was sort of very very ex- exposition heavy. I mean, for me, I liked. Sorry, I was just going to say I liked uh, Carrie Godleyman. I thought was very good, and I, I I liked the sort of the colourful world of the 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 estate mm. as well. You know, no, you've got that, that. You've got that scene of like. Um, when he was going through doing the Avon deliveries, all the different characters, like almost like sides bits, like things in the distance, you saw when Teens and Nelly were hauled across by the police. You saw this old Chinese man doing Tai Chi. Yeah, I, think I love that doing. bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I mean it's promising. I will definitely watch another one. Whether I'll stick with it through the entire six, I don't know. But there was enough in here to convince me to carry on. They're all on now TV and Sky Boxes right now. And Sky Go, I checked. Okay, and Sky Go. And Sky sent sent us or me five. But I just I don't know. I just didn't feel compa- it's very similar. I preferred it to seven seconds if we're gonna compare the two. But I just didn't feel compelled to watch because I felt distanced from it again. I don't know what's mm. quite going on. I wasn't ever invested enough. I thought the pub scenes were the the best thing about it, I thought it was, like I said, very vibrant, very believable there. But the rest of it, I just don't know. It was kind of similar in tone to things like Run on Channel 4, which mm. I didn't like years ago. Which Lenny James was in. Yeah. I think it reminded me of that. And I just I just wanted more from it than it gave me. And that's not its fault, it's perhaps mine. But I don't feel compelled to watch the rest. I liked it, but I would say that I agree with a lot of what Lucas said. Um, it, it, it felt very uneasy and very soap opery at times, as mm. well as being crime. You know, there was a lot of the "this is the usual life" of these groups of people who are in the pub every day. It felt reminiscent of a scene out of EastEnders, you know, in the old in in the Queen Vic. Um, and, and I don't suppose there's really a way of getting around that in one episode because, as you say, he's trying to set up what you want to, what they know about this character, and what you want to say about him. And I'm guessing that he is the one that's then going to go ahead and, and and lead his own kind of like investigation into what's going on. I think the one thing that they did do very well I, 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 is also to include. A lot of a lot of local references, you know. As I said, that this was truly a South London film. You know, a, a lot of references. I don't know whether Lenny grew up in that area. If he did, I wouldn't be surprised. And I, I also kind of see what Luke is saying about Lenny James. It is supposed to be a vehicle that shows him, and and I think I don't know whether it's the character or him. On don't connect a hundred percent. I kept thinking throughout. Purely based on how brilliant we all thought 24 Hours in Police Custody was, surely they can work out pretty quickly that it wasn't him that had taken it. Well, I, I yeah, I, I, there was some, and you know, the way they interviewed him was very bizarre. You know, they didn't read him his rights, they didn't show him any evidence, really. They just kind of like, you know, kind of taunted him almost. But then again, you have to understand. He has a rap sheet as long as his arm, and I think that's what's going to come out with the the other guy, the Stephen Graham character, is previous. I will watch another episode. 